new page in a story A new day unfolds You're standing by my side and The rest is unknown Bright light leading the way Sunrise on a dark day The moment we can taste it You're standing by my side When all the worlds collide The moment let's not waste it We come to life dill pickle wings i bet you're gonna be so good fresh dill from the garden sea salt um i've actually pre-marinated the chicken wings in pickle juice <laughs> yes i used your dill kiddo um no i've lost my train of thought so yeah. marinated in pickle juice and then and olive oil and now i have um that all dumped over top with the dill and sea salt and a little bit of garlic and it should be good. Gonna be completely honest, <laughs> our garden is a mess this year. It's like weeds galore, quack grass, it's just taken over. Um, but you know, things are still growing, things are still thriving in areas. Tomatoes behind us, it's like literally a complete jungle. Um, but hey, I'm not here to talk about uh, how much of a failure I feel when it comes to what our garden looks like this year. All that matters is what it's producing and uh, that's all that matters. So I've got a whole bunch of uh, green beans here. This is my green bean bed. I got raspberries going, growing through here. I got cucumbers, I got peas up top. I got bush beans down below. But uh, this is my first harvest of uh, green beans. I got a fairly decent little pail there. There's still lots coming. These ones are gonna turn into uh, most likely pickled beans for things like our Caesars throughout the winter. And then the other ones will probably get blanched and frozen eventually. They'll still keep producing for the rest of the summer. So uh, we should have a pretty good harvest. And first year ever doing uh, bush beans. Every year I've done pole beans and I just don't get the greatest harvest off of them. I am actually quite impressed. I only have about half a dozen bushes here for bush beans and they're doing phenomenal. Life on the homestead, always doing something. Big shift. <laughs> <laughs> Had to do something because the gate, we used to just connect that to the fence and it was a pain in the ass going back and forth. Yeah. So yeah, you hear Mike pounding behind me. Uh, life on the homestead, acreage, whatever you want to call it. Went away last weekend, had fun. Uh, now we have our chores to do. <laughs> Gardening, canning, and uh, fixing things up like the rooster pen. Uh, you know, typical mowing lawn, weeding. Just taking care of the house and the yard. That's our plan this weekend and uh, we do hopefully have some future camping plans in the next couple weeks coming up. I'm not showing the whole process just because, you know what, um, I've showed how to do jams before. It's super simple and uh, the recipes are also on our website. Go down in the description of any of our videos and find our website. You can click there and go to the blog and there's so much more information. But uh, yeah, it looks like we're gonna have about 14, 15 jars of uh, raspberry jam, which is fantastic. Well, it's that time of year again where we uh, get into our garden and we start preserving for uh, winter. So in previous years, I've done a lot of uh, hot water bath canning and we will continue to do that this year, but I'm also trying to stick, uh, just do some different methods, um, making your pasta sauces or spaghetti sauces ahead of time, freezing, putting them in to the freezer, which helps. Um, you have ready to go meals then for the winter. 
and our beets are going to be coming out and going into some borscht along with our beans and carrots and potatoes and cabbage so that's something that uh, I'll be working on in the coming few days here along with the jam we just finished doing. So I guess a little embarrassed to say this, but our garden is an absolute disaster this year. I can't uh, hide that fact. Things are still thriving, but the weeds are unreal. We got a load of compost from, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna say where we got the local compost from, but uh, we did and it seems like I have so many weeds in our garden this year that we've never even had in our garden in previous years and uh it's not just one or two weeds it is like absolutely unreal like i could pick like a little bit uh four by four square foot plot and uh easily fill a wheelbarrow if not twice so um story of our life this year but uh <laughs> that's what gardening's all about right there's the fun like like look at this this is this is our pumpkin patch out here and I actually don't even know how well our pumpkins are growing because we can't uh, we can't get out there. It's too thick. So uh, <laughs> growing in ground uh, can be fun. I do find growing in like raised beds a little bit easier to maintain. Pick it's also easier on your back. Um, everyone has their different uh, gardening preferences, and that's just ours. So. Car looks looking not bad. Gotta let it dry. <laughs> this one kind of curled a little bit funny. Uh, that's looking good. Carrots are looking good. This is constant. Oh, look at that! What do we find? Ew! Why are you saying you? Mm -hmm. Go show dad, it's a purple carrot! So we got something that's been messing with all of our beds this year. And we got a hole going in there, a hole going in there. I don't know. Kitty cat, do your job. <laughs> yeah. You guys hunt, whatever it is, before it messes up the rest of the garden. The right. mm -hmm. Come on. She still can't see it. <laughs> And she beside me, I walk slowly. Bella. She hey. feeds my soul all the gold I couldn't eat. This whole time I've been searching for the wrong thing. She's my captain, she's the sea, she's the sun on my what? Whoa, the sunflowers are huge. Our cucumbers and beans are coming in, our peas, and then our tomatoes. Holy, look at this jungle. I can't even walk through there. So things are doing pretty good this year. We got uh, tons of tomatoes. Uh, we just finished picking our beans. And uh, the only thing that didn't do very good was our in-ground. We had uh, some bad compost. It just had too much grass and crap in it. And it ended up just making it a headache. Uh, I think next year we're going to turn this area. Well, this fall, we're going to build a greenhouse for this area. And then we're going to do some more raised beds along the back over here. Along with our fruit trees. So uh, that'll be a work in progress. But uh, we'll make it work. What do you got? A strawberry. Ooh, pretty. You gonna eat it? So 
Well, our yard is in full swing. All of our flowers are blooming. Uh, a lot of them already went this spring, but just a jungle back there this year. It's picking flowers. You picking flowers? Yeah, you're making a bouquet. Yeah, look at this jungle. Like, this is taller than me. These are all indeterminate tomatoes, so they're gonna get super tall. Take back my life. It's time to go my own way. Well, as soon as we get it in the water. Okay, stand up, Danica. Ooh, you have a life jacket on. Oh, look at that poopy dock. What do you think, Danica? Your first time on the canoe? So yeah? Alive. Hey, Danica, look at the pelicans. You see the pelicans? Look. You see them? You have a nest around your buddy? Are you struggling to take off? You're right, you might be lost. Well, in between all the gardening, we decided to get out just on our local uh, <laughs> lake, if you want to call it that. It's definitely not a very swimmable lake, or I wouldn't swim in it, but uh, it's great for a morning paddle. Posting? Just going nice and slow and just... Let's keep it moment to moment What do you think, Danica? Your first trip? Fun? Hey? <laughs> but you don't like Grandma's pool? What? It's nice, isn't it? Splash, splash, splash. Veronica likes it. No. no. Back to the shore. It doesn't matter. 
All right, go. I'm ready. Woo, good job. So good. You did it. <laughs> and this one, I don't know. You don't like the water? No. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more family fun adventures in Alberta.